Less than five hours later, gun violence continued in Shreveport. Two more people were taken to a hospital. This is following a shooting at the corner of Downdale and West 77th Street. As of right now, we're working to learn, there's that video right there. As of right now, we're working to learn more details on what exactly happened. Now, police are asking if you have any information on any of these shootings. Nobody's going to say nothing. Crime Stoppers. When you are a young rapper from the streets, the most dangerous place you can be is your own city. As you reach success, the same people that loved you will begin to hate you. And the people that grew up hating you will just hate you even more. It's a common theme that most rappers that die get killed in their own city. And the subject of today's video is no different. The subject of today's video lost his life right after signing a record deal and finally accomplishing his dream. The subject of today's video is none other than Blue Benji Kobe, and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Blue Benji Kobe, real name Jacoby Kente Ware, is from Shreveport, Louisiana, also known as Ratchet City. The biggest name to come from there is the rapper Hurricane Chris. If you know anything about Louisiana, then you know that it's full of dangerous places and Shreveport is no popular on Alibaba.com in Renewable. No different. According to Forbes.com, Shreveport is the 10th most dangerous city in America. Ooh. Kobe grew up in a hectic environment, and as a result, he jumped into the streets at a young age. He officially jumped off the porch at just 13 years old, and he would go to jail for the first time at age 14 after being caught with a gun. Mm. As he got more into the streets, he eventually started gangbanging. He was... But it's like basic street shit, you feel me? It's like regular street shit. This is... Some shit everybody go through, you feel me? The part of a set called Blue Benji Gang, or BBG for short. This is different from the other famous BBG gang that resides in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The Shreveport BBGs primarily beef with Ratchet Committee, YBC, RNAS, Goonie Boys, and Soldier Life. The BBGs are closely affiliated with SOD, standing for Step or Die. These beasts would heat up the streets of Shreveport, and both sides would suffer losses. As I mentioned earlier, one of the main groups that BBG beasts with is Ratchet Committee. It is rumored that the beef between these groups originally started over a dice game. During this dice game, a member of the Ratchet Committee was allegedly taking everyone's money so an argument would break out. As the argument heated up, things would go left and gunfire would erupt. In the aftermath of the shooting, a member of the Ratchet Committee named TT Dummy was left dead. Mm. It is widely believed that a member of BBG was allegedly responsible and this would lead to the two groups going back and forth doing hits on each other. One of the most well-known It's just crazy how most of these things either start over a dice game or territory. It's just... This is just how it is. It's just senseless nonsense in the streets. You feel me? Uh, I'm sorry if you feel attached to everybody who lives the street life, but it's just purely nonsense to me. Just stupid things. You feel me? Members of Ratchet Committee was a rising Shreveport rapper by the name of Ratchet Life. Him and Kobe would frequently diss each other, and this dissing would eventually lead to a violent ending. On October 2nd, 2017, Ratchet Life was on his way to the studio to record new music. Ratchet Life was in the passenger seat of a car going eastbound on I-20, getting driven by one of his associates when a small dark SUV pulled up right beside them and someone inside started firing a rifle. Ratchet Life, real name DeAndre Brown, was shot in the head and died on the scene. He was only 22 years old. Damn. The driver, by the name of Kenyon Frazier, was also shot multiple times and he was taken to University Health Hospital with life-threatening injuries, but ultimately he survived. It is widely believed that Blue Benji Kobe and other members of BBG were allegedly responsible for the shooting. A 
Aside from his beef in the streets, Blue Benji Kobe would also have trouble with the law. One day, Kobe was driving with an associate of his by the name of Quinzel when the police attempted to pull them over. Quinzel had active warrants out for his arrest, so they decided to take the police on a high-speed chase. During the high-speed chase, they were going over 100 miles per hour when they crashed into a tree. Both of them nearly died in the crash, and they both had to be resuscitated by paramedics. Yeah. They were both in a coma and eventually woke up in the hospital. Kobe broke nearly every major bone on the right side of his body during the crash. Yeah. He broke his ankle in 17 different places. He broke his wrist, he broke his leg, and he also broke his hip flexor. Ooh. He was hospitalized for two weeks, but should have been in there for longer, but he snuck out once he found out that Quinzel was arrested, and he knew the police would eventually arrest him next. Kobe was bedridden for nine months and had to relearn how to walk. Damn. This incident would cause Kobe to be wanted by the authorities, so he ended up deciding to turn himself in. After some time, he would be granted bail, so he bonded himself out and hired a lawyer. Eventually, he was able to get the charges dropped and put this incident behind him. Now, just after 2 p.m., officers responded to a shooting in a tobacco shop. Parking Bro, I'd lot say, like, they road. just dying, like, so senselessly. Great future, but then the street is always calling, you know, the street, if, if the street got a debt, the street needs to be paid. Eventually, all of the beef that Kobe had in the streets of Shreveport would catch up to him. On December 6, 2020, Blue Benji Kobe was sitting in his car in front of Tobacco King Smoke Shop when a man by the name of Stonehill D, real name Devoris Hardy, and one other person walked up to him. Upon seeing Stone and D, Kobe opened fire and Stone and D returned fire, leading to a shootout. Kobe was able to exit his car and strike D in the hand and thigh, but that was not enough. Kobe was shot multiple times in the body and collapsed. When authorities arrived at the scene, they transported Kobe to Oshner LSU Health with life-threatening injuries, and he would tragically pass away there at just 24 years old. Stonehill D would be found by the cops at a nearby Sonic fast food restaurant and he was taken to the hospital to treat his injuries. After being discharged from the hospital, he was taken to Shreveport City Jail and given a $250,000 bond. Oh. He was eventually able to pay his Damn. bail and was set free. Damn, I thought they gave him 200 live. I was like, what the fuck? Yo. Oh my god, I was like, what the hell is going on? I thought they gave him 200 Lad is like, wait, 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 hold on, wait a minute. While out on bond, Stonehill D would be accused of committing another shooting and was taken back to jail. It is sad to see the streets claim another life. Blue Benji Kobe had just signed to Cinematic Music Group and was the first rapper from his city to be signed to a record label in years. He hadn't even been signed for two weeks yet when he passed away. It's crazy to think about what he may have accomplished if he could have reached his full potential. I understand, you know, the senseless violence in the street. Like, I heard Louisiana is crazy, you know, like, Louisiana really got, like, crazy people. Like, I'm talking about um, NBA young boy, you know, they all coming from, you know, oh, that's how you feel me. Um, Boosie Badass, they all coming from that side. So, is, they really active, like, really, 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 like, active for kt really 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 active so um it's not it's not a surprise to me like people are just dying you know over senseless dice games and then that's gonna start a whole beef you know a whole generation and a generation and a generation they're just gonna go in and kill each other for things they don't even remember but it's but it's not like yo you looking at my partner wrong so are we coming for y'all and y'all did this to another person that was in the game I probably don't even know him, but then we gonna come, we gonna wrap our colors, and we gonna smoke y'all. It's it's crazy, man. It's just crazy, and I, I still don't understand. I don't know, you know, uh, Blue Benji Kobe like that. Or is it, it was kind of like even me getting to know him through this video too. Um, but let's do more research. I want everybody from Louisiana like that knew, you know, his whole story prior this like can you tell us what he was really like so i'm gonna go ahead and listen to some of his music I'm trying to understand his story you feel me but i don't have much to say because i didn't really know him i'm just it's just one of those like a street statistic at this point because 
he's just another dead rapper you feel me like i don't mean it in a in a, in an insensitive way or disrespectful but it's just like the way people are just like this artists with great potential are just dying senselessly you know it's it is heartbreaking it's heartbreaking and it's like and it is becoming norm you understand me so it's kind of like damn bro i'm sorry and then after two weeks another one dies you understand me like i hate that we're getting used to this um and he's he seemed like a, he had talent right i'm gonna really listen to some of his work but make sure y'all please just tell me what was really going on about uh blue benji kobe and his history and what really happened and all of that the streets are calling the streets are talking tell me what the streets are saying in the comments section below make sure you like and subscribe and i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one